every time I come to Belgrade, I come at a different season. I've done two summers, the fall, the winter. Never have I been here during the spring. It's, it's great. I, I can't, I'm just, I can't believe I'm here. I'm Terrence. Um, I'm a free spirit from Puerto Rico. Everybody's been asking me, oh my god, Terrence, so you know your documentary's coming out on Thursday. How do you feel? How do you feel? And I'm like, I don't know how I feel. This is so surreal. And until I, it's over. Until, until it's, it's over. over. And, and I always describe this scene. Just, you know, in horror movies, when someone like screams and like the screams like right here, and then all of like, ah! And then everything goes back. Like, ah! That's how I feel right now. Like, There's no way to describe five years of mistakes failures and one year of success there's no of real work you know it was it was a long process and my professor sent me you know she wrote on my Facebook like under the um, thread and she said I know that a lot of love passion and dedication went into this you know she's been my mentor for nine years so for her to be like, you know, I know how much went into coming into this moment and, you know, having this premiere, it's just like, damn. How are they not tired of watching me fail? This has been... You know, I'm not... This is, It's frustrating because I can't find words to put in into... I can't articulate how much of a meaningful experience this has been, you know, I went to college for four years and, you know, that costs, you know, $50,000 a year at a private uni in America. I, and I appreciate everything that I learned there. But these past five years have been so much more than what I learned at uni. I'm not a better professional for going to university. I'm a better professional for my experiences here in Serbia for my experiences of reaching out to people, having to maintain international connections, having a Facebook feed that's in like four different languages, you know, including conflict and sarcasm. But um, it, I've learned how to, how to, tr how to tr this experience has helped me learn how to trust people, how to be open, how to collaborate, how to communicate, and how to manage relationships. You know, being here helped me understand that, you know, my capstone project was when we met. You know, because it was three years of practice, of learning and failing and trying and connecting with people. But then I realized that what I was really good at was connecting with people. And then when we connected and we started talking, I realized that I may not have the talent to make to complete this project and make it happen. So I have to let a, a huge piece of it go so that someone who does have the talent, who does have the knowledge base to make it happen, make it happen. You know, I had all the people, I had, I had a lot of the contacts. And then I met you guys, and you guys had a lot more of the contacts that we needed to make it happen. So it just... It's, it's a great it's combination. Nice. Yeah. It's a huge project. It's huge. Our first project, it's an enormous project. Enormous. And for uh, several people. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And that's the first time. First thing, it's not about talk, are you talented or not. Right. It's it's the first time one person cannot possibly do it. Right. Right. That, that, that's n nobody. That that is the that is the know, essence of. of it's of, not a one person yeah. job. Yeah. Definitely. Then cooperation. Uh, the biggest problem in starting this business, this project, first project, and everything is uh, is find a reliable people. And you know because you don't know people. You must try with this one, then try with the other one, then try that. The good thing is because you, you know, like, uh, wanted more, more, better, 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 then it would last five years. Right. But if it was two years or three years, it would be, you know, like 10% of, of what two it is. years more. 
you know, for example. That's why it's a success, it's not a failure. It seemed like, for example, this guy Costa Rica, when he was uh, filming first time with American, you know, like stars, Johnny Depp, Faye Dunaway, Jerry Lewis. Right. Uh, the plan was, you know, like six months of filming. Right. They were filming two and a half years. But he said, I'm going to finish this movie as long as it takes. Right. And at the end, it's And what I appreciated the most out of this experience have been the people that have come into my life that have told me to my face that's not how it works instead of people giving me false encouragement and those people have mostly come in the last year so when I look back at who I was five years ago I thought that having access to money and resources and and talent was enough to tell a story but it's not. You can have all those things. But if you're not connected to the right people, you're not saying anything. And um, it was very naive. It was very naive. Five years ago, you know, when I was 20, I was impressionable, gullible, a dreamer. And today I've learned to dream and reason, but to do so much more. Dreaming's not enough. Yeah, with the first company I had, you know, I paid, I contracted them through my unit, and it was like in-kind money. So like I never had the money in my hands, but they said, you have you know $15,000 to do this. And whenever I didn't like something, I'd be like, yeah, take that out. Yeah, take that out. And every day I was like, yeah, take that out. Yeah, take Next thing I know, it's like $15,000 worth of changes. And at the end, I have this film that's shit. And I'm like, I can't always be the one to tell you what the story is. Like, I really need to put this in the hands of someone that knows. You have to be a little crazy. You know? <laughs> Did you not meet me? Like, I'm fucking psycho, you know? People are scared of, I mean, we're psycho. You know? <laughs> you know, I have personality disorders sometimes, but, you know, it, that's the one thing that's consistent about me. I never feel the same way every day. You know, like, some days I'll wake up and I'll be neurotic, or I'll call Nicola, and Nicola's like, and I tell Nicola, Nicola, am I crazy? He's like, yes, maybe a little bit. <laughs> but, but we understand that because we, we feel like we feel that way too, because you have to be a little crazy to do Job, you, know? you do. It really helps. And, but it, all those disorders actually help. <laughs> they I, do. I, I'm serious you know, now. I agree. It's I, better be, you know, the, be uh, a little bit crazy than kill someone. Right, of course. <laughs> but it, like for people like us, I think the reason why we functioned is because number one, we're always honest, and we don't always accept what each other's saying. 